Greetings and welcome to RudyCast. No food today, just wanted to uh, try out something a little different here. Uh, had some thoughts and wanted to see what everyone's uh, opinion was on, on them. Uh, wanted to have a discussion about the uh, global outlook on uh, some of the developments that have happened in the political realm lately. The China expansion into the uh, quote-unquote South China Sea. For those of you who don't know, uh, China has essentially built some uh, islands in uh, the, the uh, what they like to call the South China Sea, which is an area of uh, international waters that are simultaneously claimed by. Taiwan, uh, China, Japan, and quite a few other countries, but officially they're territorially designated as international waters, and uh, China is really the only country that's taken the initiative in actively claiming that area by building uh, man-made islands uh, a few months ago, and uh, we the international community, when I say we, uh, basically told them, hey, what are you doing? This is not, you know, this is our collective waters here. Uh, We didn't, you know, we're not down with you basically putting down stakes here. And basically everybody came back and said, cut that out. And China's like, okay, we're going to stop building these islands. Meanwhile, continuing to build them. And uh, it went back and forth, diplomatic discussions, and China the whole time claiming that, you know, either they had stopped or they're stopping or they weren't doing it. And finally, China says, okay, we've, we've stopped building the islands, okay? And the fact is, they, they're done building the islands, and that's why they stopped. So they achieved their objective with no official repercussions for it. The next step they did was they've actually built aircraft runways on the island and then they put a sophisticated anti-aircraft missile system on there they deployed which basically they basically turned it into an airbase effectively and I don't know how you know the international community is going to respond to China basically having an air base in international waters that they claim is their own. Um, But effectively, it's theirs now because they've put a military installation there and nobody has challenged them. So in response to that, uh, recently, as the U.S. has deployed a carrier group to pass through those waters to... uh, basically put a thumb in the eye of China saying we have a right to be here as much as anybody else and if you're gonna if you're gonna you know man up and put military equipment in this in these waters uh, you know we're gonna do it too so the question is are we is this saber rattling is this escalating the tensions unnecessarily do we just cede that those waters to China by default just because we we don't want to risk a confrontation do we let the powers in that area sort of hash it out which gets messy because we've got allies that are butting heads with China over this and if China puts uh, enacts some military action against them Do we support our allies in that over a territorial dispute? Uh, It it gets messy. Um, China has a very respectable military force. Uh, They've actually fielded their first aircraft carrier. So primarily they've been a a land-based force, uh, but they've been building uh, their naval capabilities. 
Uh, some say specifically to prepare for an altercation over the disputed area. So uh, the question is, another question is, how limited an engagement would uh, take place in that zone? Would it escalate into a, a full-scale war? And how much uh, do you think we are willing to risk to enforce uh, the boundaries? Um, I mean, this could go global. Any, uh, any thoughts you have on that, uh, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, everyone be respectful, please. But it being the internet, you know. It is what it is. So, uh, thanks for uh, for giving me a listen, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Later.